<laughs> yeah, that'll be alright. I just smashed off the road into my bike. Hello? <laughs> right, people, we're out. We've got James and we've got UK Crazy Moto behind me. We're off on a blip. We're going to go meet Nick, Nick from uh, from the Wales holiday uh, on the Jigs 1000. And then we're going to have a nice little blip around. You know what I mean? All that good stuff. We'll see what you can see. <laughs> see what you're able to watch. And we'll have a good time. Hello? Yeah, <laughs> I was over there. <laughs> yeah, just can't full throttle it. You got to feed it in, otherwise it just sits there and don't go anywhere. I think it's a sensor this side, so. Yeah. <laughs> you nearly didn't make that. <laughs> that was the biggest U-turn ever. <laughs> I was like, he's not gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. Where's Nicholas? Fresh off his haircut. Bring that fresh trim down here, boy. <laughs> Bring that fresh trim down here and send it. <laughs> Marcus would be jealous of that Jixxer. He loves Jixxer thousands, and that is a clean white Jixxie. <laughs> huh? Yeah. Same. Well, yeah, exactly the same. That looks like rain. Uh, no? Summer, summer <laughs> <laughs> Some people might be meeting us halfway. I put my location on for bloody uh, Sam. Guy that uh, rides one with Greg. I've seen him a couple of times started riding around with us um, uh, he's been bloody sat in Ketrin on his own I didn't realise obviously I've been out so I ain't checking my messages and he's <laughs> sat in Ketrin on his own I think Greg's down there as well so they might even meet us halfway because they're down there so I put my location on Greg's got my location Marcus got my location so we'll see what happens because I'm not do you know what I mean I'm down to ride more into the night I don't care we've got a group ride tomorrow Obviously, you're gonna go do a load of miles, but mate, I could stay around tonight as well. I don't care. I love it. I just, could, I love bikes, mate. If I had unlimited money, I would. Uh, I wouldn't worry about just keep filling up, filling up, filling up. Guys, wait for me, please. <laughs> wait. Six <laughs> hundreds versus no, a th three thousands versus a six hundred. Guess who wins? Them. They're just so fast. <laughs> this is the wrong way! Skip! Do a burnout! <laughs> How have you not made that? <laughs> How have you not made that? <laughs> Try to do a burnout. <laughs> Yeah. Bad man! <laughs> I sent Sam my live location, so I don't know if he's just going to start sending it up this way, I don't know. Yeah, I think he thought we were going down this way. Yeah, if you go back to the roundabout, and you follow the road back to the other roundabout, it'll take you where this road used to lead. Okay, so, nice one. He said if we go to that roundabout and then go back to the other one, this it will lead us where this used to go. Back to this roundabout and then to the other one and then it will take us where we need to go, don't really know. I just follow, because I have no idea. <laughs> yes. Oh, it's dusty. Careful. It's dusty. These are some dodgy old back roads. <laughs> where in the hell are we? Me and Troy were laughing, we checked the maps and we're like near London. I was like, where, why are we all the way out here? <laughs> <laughs> it looks closer on the maps, I think, but still. That's funny. I was like, Jesus, I didn't realize we kept this far. Were well, some nice roads though. Good little blip. I'm uh, 
I don't know, I don't really know this road, so I'm just taking it chill. That's the crash in my head. Because before I would have just sent it, but I don't know this road, so I probably shouldn't, and I'm not going to. Now, this clear visor from the AGV, it's quite interesting because it doesn't have a pin lock, but it doesn't really steam up. I think they've done something with it, like technology wise, to stop it from steaming up without a pin lock. Because there isn't a pin lock uh, slot for it. You can't even insert one on this one. Ugh. He wasn't lying when he said no street lights. There literally is barely any light on any of this. Luckily, I brought my clear visor, people. Links below. Get yourself a rib satchel and take your clear visor with you on night rides. Might not look the coolest wrapped around your waist, but you don't see it. You do not feel it. I forget that I've even got this thing on until I actually like look. And then you can keep a spare visor on your side of your ribs in a little pouch. Job done. And then when you're out on a night ride, you can look cool. And then when the sun goes down, you put your clear visor on and be safe. Yeah, links below. Along with my camera, my gear, the plates, everything. Check the description out and treat yourself. Bitch. What me and the boys tend to do is when we're out, and we're like sort of someone's in front and there's a tight bend coming up we end up like sort of tapping the brakes lightly a couple of times it's like if i'm coming up to a bend i can't see can't see can't see can't see if i'm coming up to a bend that's really tight and i want the boys to know i'll just quickly tap my brakes like three times and they can kind of know that i'm about to do like a heavy brake i should really have my ways on to like be able to see the road but last time i did that i crashed <laughs> so i'm not doing that i'll just trust my vision to stay locked in i don't know how much battery i got left either yeah, it is getting foggy. Oh, okay, this is look cool when we get closer to home. That's good, scoot, 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 scoot. Roundabouts. It's quite busy. It's quite late as well. I'm surprised how busy it is. People everywhere. In this simulation. Wait, what? Where did you come from? How did you? How did he? How did he get from behind? That was so random. closing the night with Nick and James but not for us we're continuing the night because Jixie and Greg have just got out Sam's just found us he's been chasing us for the last like hour he said <laughs> bless him I didn't even realize mate I just turned my phone off and was enjoying the ride I was paying no attention but now we're gonna head back and we're gonna continue the night why not <laughs> let's go mess around with Jixie and Greg Bush. get some sparks hopefully and then uh, wake up tomorrow and do it all again on a group ride. Bash. 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 This has probably been the most choppy video ever, like just back and forth, back and forth. Oh, Mr. Jixi Wrist and Mr. Greg, where are you? He took the wrong exit! Sam took the wrong exit! Sam, Sam lost us at the roundabout! Oh, no. uh, well in Bratesco! Go to the shell! The shell? Yeah, there's a shell carriage at the roundabout. Okay. I'll wait He's got my live location anyway. Okay. Oh, there he is! <laughs> Where are you going? You're not going this way. Yeah. 
Yes. I didn't expect you to be out. That's sick. You? Damn boy. I want some sushi. I want sushi. Yeah. I'm craving sushi, mate. Bash. You coming tomorrow? Yeah. Sweet. Oh, okay. Sick. Is that the same way? Is it the same way? Oh, you gotta go back the other way. Damn. That's commitment. Wagwan. What? <laughs> I, uh, number five and then this please. Have we got any room in your jacket? Because I can't fit this in my pocket. It's cold. <laughs> right, we're going to the next spot to eat our food from a long old ride. We just did 90 miles of bloody uh, James. <laughs> Crazy. Now we're just chilling with the boys at the lovely spot. Job done. Bush. Snacks all round. Bush. <laughs> just a chill one. Never too crazy. Oh, I can't wait to eat this chicken wrap. Ooh. Protein bar and a water. Damn. I just saw a nail. Self. I don't know if we went over it or not. I had to dodge that thing. I had to dodge it. Look, something just smashed off the road into my bike. I wasn't even recording it. Hit Sam's bike, and then it flew up and hit my bike, and it just smashed into the side of my fuck. It split the side of that thing, and look, it's oil. Oh my god! The f was that? I nearly died, mate. I just hit that. Whatever that was, I just hit it. And it sent my whole front end. Ah! Come on! It's all a f need. Just spent all that money to get it done. And now it's got a hole in the side of the f engine. How fast were you going? I was going like. Okay. Because Sam just passed me. I just let him pass. And then he went ahead. Yeah. And then it went. I was ahead of you for what, two seconds? Yeah. <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> Alright, people, we've seen this position before, haven't we? I'm now on the back of a bike again. We're gonna go chill at McDonald's. I'm in front, I let Sam go past me, he goes past me, and then in the right lane there's some massive object and it just smashes into Sam's tire flings off of his tyre and just flies and smashes straight into the side of my engine. Right into the side of that engine casing and then cracked it, started losing power because I'm guessing we lost oil pressure. And then I luckily, luckily was just at that um, lay-by at the exact time. So I just pulled straight in, checked out what was going on and it was just leaking with that massive hole in it that you just saw. So yeah, it just uh, one of the third things to happen to this bike, man. I just ain't got the money to be fixing this thing over and over again. It's not like something I did, like there's nothing we could have done in that situation. Luckily, Sam's okay. He was in the worst position because it hit his front tire. Luckily, it didn't send him into the floor, do you know what I mean? And then luckily, only hit the side of my engine. And if we think about it, it's only engine casing. 
that's all it really is engine casing yeah it needed to come off anyway so we can do that sensor thing which james has already got and he's also got the exact bike so i might be able to slip his engine casing on top of mine and then buy a new one and then put the new one on his or whatever i don't know group ride was tomorrow so i can't go to that now unfortunately which is sad but it is what it is nothing much i can do hopefully you all have a good time either way <laughs> not you <laughs> <laughs> you <t> <laughs> <laughs> Drive through. Wagwan. Sorry, both crap. <laughs> Could you imagine? We'd get views, mate. No. Order. no. You say it. Two large coke. Yep. Uh, a large Fanta. Yep. A large Sprite. Yep. <laughs> Don't, I'll fall off. <laughs> Hello. We look like we just robbed this bike. <laughs> yeah, well, don't wheelie. I can balance the bag here. Yeah. How many drinks is there, though? A four. So I'll just hold them all. Oh, yeah. Hello. You've got to hold the drink, so we're going to have to take it better. Yeah, I'll just... It'll be all right. Yeah. Can we put them back? Maybe. Oh, okay, I'll just see what... Try and balance them here, that might work. No, I'll just walk out of it. No, that's... No. Can put them in the bag with Yeah, that's a good idea, actually. Yeah, yeah do that. Sorry, I lied. We haven't got any of them. Nah, oh. it's fine. I'll just carry them. Like what, I can take it off? Yeah. There's not one. Thank you I'm make very much. Now it'll be all right. Nah, be all right. Wait, do you want to, do you not want me to hold the drinks? It's more delicate. They're heavy though, so put them underneath. Yeah, I'm, mate, I'm just going to the gym. You see what I'm wearing? We could do one of those YouTube videos where we do like Uber Eats for the day no. on a bike. There you go, is that all right? I'll take that one. Yeah, thank yeah, you, you sure very I'm much. I appreciate that. See ya. <laughs> 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 it's express delivery, mate. <laughs> Wag one. It's delivery. That's drinks. Here, she put him in a bag. Right, let's assess the damage. You can see the impacts clear up. It's just smashed. Straight and gone, whoa bam! Straight through there. And then, yeah, I don't know how much it cracks right now, but scary. Was very scary. I absolutely myself. Ta da! Luckily, as well, I've got a hole in my fairings, but as you can see in the background, the guy that gave me the fairings gave me two sets. So I've got perfectly, like, pristine condition sets to go on and replace them. So that's actually really handy. But let's have a look. Where's it hit? Oh, here. That's the crack, I think. Yeah, it's hit it right there. Has it hit that? There is oil on that. Has it hit that thing? Is that a normal gap? It's definitely hit that. You can see the crack. And that is just about the edge of the engine casing. So that would just be this come off, new one go on, which we needed to take off anyway to get to this sensor stuff behind here. Still got full oil. We didn't lose that much, but yeah, I think it's that right there. It's hit there. I just hope it hasn't gone into this bit. I don't know if that's anything to do with it. So we might got away with it. Maybe. I hope so. Didn't break any of the pipes, did it? No. That all seems fine. Okay. I mean, it might be mine. It might be mine, and then I might got away lucky. Again. Which is like, what are the odds? What are the odds? We're going down a road and then 
the singular object hits his wheel and goes flying into my engine case. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. That seems alright. Be careful, people, because even when you're at night and you've got your clear visor on, there could be bricks in the road. You know? Good times. <clears throat> Whatever. But if anyone's watching this video and you want a Honda CBR600F, if you offer me money for it, and it's the right amount, trust me, I'm on the borderline of getting rid of this, so you might even get it. Because <laughs> I'm so over it. I am so over it, but I do love it. I think we have the boys. They've just finished the group ride that I couldn't go on. 